So we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take this whole front clip off. To get this light basil out, you have to take the light out and you have to dive in there. It's very difficult and. I, and uh, and I decided to get a new bumper filler, even though this bumper filler is in decent shape, it has small tiny little cracks, uh, you know, I just, I just want to have it perfect, they're 100 bucks, so I'm going to get a, a new bumper filler, and to replace that I have to pull this whole front, front clip off. So first thing is to remove the battery, you're going to need a 8mm for the uh, wires, the main terminals, and then you need a 13mm for this little bracket uh, retainer that holds the battery in place. Uh, first thing I'm going to take off is the grill because I have to take it off anyways just to paint this thing so uh, you have a Torx screw I think you have six of them T15 and I broke them loose I always use manual tool to break them loose so you don't strip them or anything and then I finish the job with a power tool because it's much quicker. Okay so now the grill is out simple job six bolts poof just comes right off. You got this little plastic thing and uh, sits on this one little clip. This tool is always handy because if you try to pull it like that you're gonna most likely break this plastic so you have to go underneath where that thing is in there and then you can pop it off. It's that simple. It's one of those uh, those barb serrated snaps like that and like I said if you try to pull on the plastic see it's already cracked here it's been cracked and so you'll just break the whole thing so that's why it's important to have a a nail stripper like that that's so thin kinda like a, a hammer at the end of the hammer but this one's much thinner and you can get underneath like that and, and pop these things because so there's they're all over this car so yeah we have to take uh, these 10 millimeter bolts off and then we're done in this section then we have to dive underneath and from the front take other bolts which I'll show you later okay so now now I'm underneath this uh, car, as you can see the only rusty place is like this uh, sway bar bushing and stuff, but all this is z-barred. Uh, <laughs> I hope you can see this, this is why I talk so highly about old z-barred, which is the wax protection. Anywhere you rub, it's just, it's just clean metal, clean, clean metal. It's just, it's beautiful. Anyways, uh, back on the, on the thing. Now we have to loosen these three bolts here. One, two, three. This is the bumper filler side that's attached to the uh, front fender. They're seven millimeter screws, so you have to take them off. Okay, so I got these uh, three seven millimeter bolts off. You can see this is the bumper filler here. Just loose, because that's going to come off with the whole front clip. So after diving underneath and removing the, these three little bolts screws that hold this bumper filler that's the only thing from underneath everything else is from the top and of course if your bumper filler is all broken you don't even have to worry about it but from the top you have to deal with uh, all these bolts I'm gonna point it to you very easy removal I just cleaned this one it's actually a stud that has a little one of those sheet metal thin very little knot on it I cleaned it and greased it because I'm about to remove it. I like to clean it so I don't struggle with the threads. So anyways, you got one bolt here, actually a nut, one nut here. Uh, hopefully you can see this. You have one more here, then you have this one here in the corner. I don't know, I can't even see it myself but I know it's in there, right there. That's the one in the corner and then you have another one here in the corner. So that's make, that makes number four. Now remember, these are the ones uh, here in the corner. Not those. Don't, don't break those loose. That holds the whole cross member that holds the rat and everything. You don't want to remove this unless you want to. But to remo remove the whole front clip, you remove these, these all the way in the corner. So it's, so it's one, uh, two, three, four, and then on the outside these are the last ones you want to remove these here nothing else just those two because that's the last thing holding the clip uh, given that you removed uh, these two bolts here when you remove the grill actually you don't have to remove the grill to 
to uh, take them out. I did because I'm painting the car, so I had to remove the grill anyways. But so you got these two. You have uh, one in here underneath the emblem that had not a sheet metal nut on it. And uh, so after you remove these three in the center, it's only these six I just pointed to you in the corner and the whole clip comes off. One thing I have to show you, uh, first to get to remove this thing, this little you know nut that sits on the stud, on this threaded rod, you have to remove this little thing. Uh, very simple job. It's one screw and then the other side it's actually a slot that you just loosen this, this screw here and you can just slide it off and get this out of the way because it sits here and you can't get to this thing. I don't know if you can see this or not, this got this uh, the special washer that kind of keeps this threaded rod in place so when you take the uh, take the nut off the front the whole front clip doesn't fall out so when you when you're ready when you remove like I just did all the bolts and everything you really have to pull on it because it's got this spring-loaded thing that kind of grabs the threads so you have to yank it pretty hard for it to just come off uh, so don't be afraid to do some pulling and of course you have to disconnect all the wires too that go into the lights so I'm just gonna do some pulling now and try to get this thing off there it goes there it is it's just a little washer like that that's this is spring loader it grabs the threads so you have to pull it really hard once you pull it, it just falls down Okay, one thing I forgot to show you, now that I got this thing off. Uh, if, you look, if you look underneath, there's actually that little clip. It's not a clip, it's the part of the bumper filler. That It's actually very flexible, you can just bend that off. Because that hooks on the, on the bumper, so you can't, you can't pull... You can't pull this whole clip off till you unhook this thing, which is very simple. You just kind of flex it out there and lift it up, and then you can pull the whole clip off. So that's on both sides. So, so here's the bumper filler. Now it's still in one piece. This is actually slid it like that, so it's not broken. And uh, but you can see it's definitely cracking. These are the cracks I'm, you see on the outside. See all these cracks. So now that this nose piece is off, all you do is just to go with those seven millimeter screws here, take them off, and the whole bumper filler just comes right off. I removed this ugly battery tray. This was uh, acid spilled on it and just corroded. <laughs> uh, the only rusty part on this whole vehicle, because this car is so clean. And the battery tray was sitting here, and you can see there's few rust spots. I'm gonna, you know, protect this with some sticky wax. But that and that, I mean, you can see how clean this car is. Look at the, look at the top here. I'm just gonna kind of pan around. Look at the wheel well, all inside there. There's a few spots of rust here and there, but gotta check this out here. I cleaned it a little bit. Uh. <laughs> It's 25 years old. Look, this is where the bumper attaches. It's got this uh, spring-loaded telescoping bumper thing. Here's the second one. Uh, looks like somebody bumped something. There's a little rust, so means went in. And uh, again, clean. There's a little bit of rust. Uh, oh, dealing with this light. It's a pain in the ass, but here it is. A little bit of rust there, but that's it. Other than that, uh, you can see just just how clean this this thing is. It's just shiny. Uh, this here's a fender, edges of the fender uh, underneath. So you can see the center thing just being so clean. And uh, here's the edge of the other fender. No rust, nothing. Just beautiful. It's just, just clean. So I think I'm done for today.